And North Korea sent an offer across the demilitarized zone on this Monday, calling for an end to all cross-border hostilities as well as slanderous comments. We have heard similar proposals in recent months, which have fallen apart shortly after they were made. But as our Shin Semin reports, Monday's offer differs from the rest in at least one aspect. No military provocations from either North or South Korea starting at midnight this Friday, July 4th. That was a proposal made by the North National Defense Commission. Pyongyang's top military body also called on both sides to stop slandering each other. The statement makes specific mention of South Korea's joint military drills with the United States, dubbed the Ulji Freedom Guardian exercises, scheduled to begin this August, and calls for them to be halted while the 2014 Asian Games are taking place in the South Korean port city of Incheon. The North has previously said it would send athletes to the event, which runs from September 19th to October 4th. And experts say Monday's offer had Chinese President Xi Jinping's visit to the South later this week in mind. With President Xi's visit to Seoul, the North is trying to put the blame on the South for not expressing its will to ameliorate the stalled inter-Korean relationship. Pyongyang is also showing its discontent over the continuous joint military exercises between Seoul and Washington by mentioning the Urchi Freedom Guardian drills. Other experts see the North offer as a conciliatory gesture, pointing out that it uses softer language than past offers of the same ilk. They also cited the timing of the proposal as it coincides with the joint communique agreed upon by the North and South on July 4, 1972, which outlined the steps for achieving a peaceful reconciliation. Shin Semin, Arirang News.